all right guys good evening and welcome back so now in today's video i want to show us how to fold our abada i have already cut and i have already prepared but let me explain how it was folded now i believe you all must have or might have watched my previous videos on abada cutting and stitching right but then in this video i'm focusing more on the finishing aspects and the joining aspects so right here my fabric already i have worked on it i will explain to you guys how this one was achieved if you have not watched my previous video on cutting please kindly do so by going through the channel to make sure that you assess the video now look at the design we have here this is the design we have on our abada and i believe um it's not a hard one i will still explain as we progress right this is the design so we are only focusing on the stitching or the joining aspect of it right now so now um this is a, a material i have for the inside um folding so that by the time you bring the abada outside it comes out this way now the measurements i used to cut this is um six inches this way now the cutting was done at extra one and a half the one inch is for the folding here I applied a hemming gum underneath this one inch folding. I hemmed all through from here down to the length of the abada you have. It has a joining at the center part because I wasn't able to get the material that covered um, 110 inches because we have 55 lengths. You know, it's on double fold. That's one, 110, right? So I have to join it somewhere here. Now the joining must be neatly sewn together this way before it starts sewing from the ray front and then fling it inwards and then before you must have done that you must have folded the one inch first which i have shown you here one inch folding here right you, you put a hemming gum underneath all through to the whole 110 inch length and then the width remains five six inches or 6.5 in finishing right so having done this now i now apply the hemming gum all through on the parts that it's inside then I ironed. Now the reason I left it open is to show us that there was hemming gum attached underneath this area and then I folded all through. Now bear in mind that in folding, you must take your time to fold. It takes time. It's not something you would do in a haste or in, in, in a rush. So I did this on both ends of the abada, both the right and the left part. This was what I did, right? So after doing this now, then the damp parts, I folded as well by 5.5 this way, 5.5 this way. I wanted the down to be a bit smaller in width um, in folding. I folded this way 5.5. The first line I marked here is 5.5 5 inches, right? Then I folded in this form. Bear in mind that the, this one, I did not hem this all to this point. The reason is for me to have enough room to open it up this way, so I fold. Now, after the first folding, the 5 5 folding i did a second folding this way right now i will tell you the reasons or the use of these two lines as we progress in this class so this is how i did it all through to this point to down to the other area of the abada right this is how everything was done and then as well the other hand the other side of the abada be in mind that this it was done inside the abada but it was sewn from the front and now fling it over to the to the inside so that by the time you call the abada it comes out automatically we see this from the dummy after you we must have made the abada so now let's get down to the stitching aspect of it now in stitching you must make sure you pick one edge this way then fold um, you, you bring it up to this point now already you have gotten the total folding you want right this is the total folding and the length you must have made sure that the lengths are of the same length now you pull up the gummy bits I will see gummy back after sewing pull up the gummy bits now the reason I use hemming gum is because this material is already heavy now applying a material gum will make it to be so strong and it will be too heavy for your customer so hold these two pieces together this way hold these two pieces together this way right then start from the first inch fold you have not this one the initial 5.5 .5 inch fold start from there this first initial fold and not the second folding you made start from there make sure that the both lines are corresponding 
make sure that the boat lines are corresponding. It's very important as well. So the boat lines must correspond. Then in doing this, you must make sure you're able to lift your abada gradually, right? So the boat lines must correspond. Start from the inner line this way. Then depending on your customer measurements you have, so start from here this way and then make sure that these two lines, the, the, the both folds must correspond this way. They must correspond this way, right? Make sure they are corresponding this way. Then once it's corresponding at this point, then you make a stitch from here, stitch properly. Stitch properly this way. Take your time to balance it properly as well, right? Then you stitch. Then while stitching, the extent of your stitch will be dependent on how wide you want the down part of the abada to be. So what I normally do, since because I have a 6 inches fold in here, I might make it to be at 0.8 or 0.9. Be in mind that this stuff would be folded inside, right? It will folded inside. So from this point now, I am going to measure from the center joining, measure 6 inches or 7 inches. I will take my chalk and mark. So I will take my chalk and mark 0.6 or 7, depending on your choice. You can do 10 if you so wish. Now, don't close it too tight so that your customer will be able to walk. So I can just decide to make it 10. From here now, I will just hold it this way and then look at 0.10. I will mark 10 here, right? I will mark 0.10 inches here. So I will sew and stop at 0.10. But then the reason, the emphasis here is to make sure that these first lines, the both of them, must correspond. Please, they must correspond. That's the trick you use to make it very simple. Stitch on the line. They must correspond. Don't be in a haste to finish it up. Balance it properly. Now, when you get to that 10 inch mark, Please stitch there properly as well. Stitch properly. Stitch properly. Then after you must have stitched properly, you now cut your threads. You now cut your threads this way. Cut your threads as well this way. Now repeat the same thing you did on one edge to the other side. Repeat it on the other side of the about the right. Make sure you are able to lift your abada very well properly then pull up the gum a bit so that you have enough room to, to sew pull up the gum a bit this way right then hold it firmly making sure that the boat lines are corresponding as well the boat lines must correspond From that point, so stitch properly the beginning, right? Stitch properly, and then You also make sure that the lines you have ironed are corresponding properly. Make sure they are corresponding. That is the trick you use to achieve a perfect and a nice finishing. Then, once you are able to be patient enough while doing this, you arrive at the perfect result. Take your time in doing this, right? Take your time in doing this. This way. You 
you make sure that these lines are corresponding and when you get to this level don't forget to replace the same um, um, 10 inches you have marked so now you mark the from there the joining points you mark 10 inches as well don't forget that was what you used at the, at the first part 10 inches as well then you also take note that the two lines must as well correspond right so you see from here you see from here then why stitching that you make sure you properly stitch at that point so now you are done with this now so the next thing you will do is um got your dress as well Got your dress as well, right? Then this is how the joining will look like at the damp parts, right? Then you open it up at different locations and then you fold it inwards this way. You fold it inwards this way. This is how it should look like, right? Giving you a circular connection at the down this way. Then having done that. The next thing we do now is open it up this way. That second line you have folded now, it's now time for you to fold it again, fold it down, still allowing the initial joining to be open this way. Then start from here to stitch. You are going to sew the down first before you start sewing the sides. Very, very important. So make sure there's no rumples, there's no um, issue at the bottom side, right? So have it in this form, and then you stitch. Right, right, right. So you make sure you take your time to arrange everything. So now you take your time Right, you fold it properly this way. Arrange your outfit. Don't be in a haste to finish it. That's one problem we do have. Sometimes, most of us, we know what to do, but because we're always in a haste to finish whatever we have started, that's the problem most of us face. So try your best to balance your material properly. So try your best to balance it properly, right? This way, and then you so. sew. So you're balancing from here. So you balance it properly from here, this way. You stitch, like so. So go gradually. So you make this all through down. So I will take my time now to do this and then I will show you how I connect this back to the, um, to the other side. All right, so now when you must have gotten to this stage, you make sure as well it's properly folded inwards this way. Make sure you first sew the down, that's the rule. You must sew the down first. So you make sure you open it up as well, this way, and then check, always check the under material, make sure it's relaxed, right? Then you stitch that way. So I want to make sure So you continue from where you, wherever it stops, continue threading the machine, and then when you get to this stage, you make sure it's relaxed as well, right? Make sure it's very much relaxed. Like I do say, don't be in a haste to finish it off. So this one has the first piece, I'll flip the under one. So the piece is not coming out at the front side of the material. So, you come here. Then you, you enter to the other lane. From here, 
You turn it this way and come down this way. Come down this way. And then make sure the bottom is properly stretched so that we no rumples, right? Stitch from here. And then go down to the other lane. So continue in that stretch form of your sewing, right? Continue in that stretch form of your sewing. Continue in this stretch form of your sewing. And then make sure everything is properly arranged. This way. Take your time while doing this. Then once you must have gotten to this stage, you continue all through down continue all through down. This might look a bit tasking, but then if you can come down and do it, you will love the result. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button on the channel and always watch, share and invite your friends as well. So you take your time as well, they are arranging it as you are sewing. Sew and arrange. So you always make sure everything here is properly folded as you have um, planned from the beginning. Then, once you get to the other end of the abada, you have successfully folded the bottom part or the down part of the outfit. The next you do now is to run the sides which I think is the last thing you need to do here free out your final ironing and your customer coming for testing right or sizing rather so you make sure you run it all through to this point you can pull up the gum a bit if the gum is sticking too hard to the fabric you can pull it off a bit to give you room to work on your abada to pull it off a bit so i have done it down now so i'm making sure everything is properly done this teaching is best done with your industrial because if you use your manual machine the stress you will pass through in pedaling the machine will be so exhausting so it's best done with your industrial or you can connect your um, motor on your manual while you stitch um, or lock the sides. So now I'm done joining or sewing the damp part of the abada. So now the next thing I will do now is to start folding the sides, right? So this is how the damp part joining came out. You see how corresponding everything here is. Everything is corresponding as planned, right? So after this now, I will not bend it to that six inches mark I have already um, folded. Then please, it's advisable as well to start your stitching from the down area. The reason is that in case there are some excesses, you can easily check it or uh, alter it from here. Start stitching from the bottom side, right? Don't start from the shoulder, start from the down part to stitch. So all the excesses will be pushed down to this part as well so that you can easily um, make any alterations from the joining at the down so also make sure that the sides are perfectly aligning this way then once you have make sure that these two lines are corresponding as well then check the sides then start from here to stitch so you might decide to stitch tip to tip or put an inch away however you want to do it it's only your choice then stitch from here right so i believe this video must have given you a very um, clear view of how to stitch an abada outfit 
and then make sure while stitching you stretch you stretch out the underneath material or fabric so that it will relax so there will be no room for air on the right so stitch it all through from this way so this will be one of the longest lines in sewing that you encounter it's one of the longest lines in sewing that you encounter always balance the underneath one while you try to stitch right then <laughs> all right so now you take your time go this way always balance the underneath one this way take your time while you are stitching from here go gradually right go gradually as I saw you you'll be um, drawing out the fabric under always be checking your reel on that when you finish because you might end up sewing an empty stitch always be checking out your reel on that so take your time to stick this all through relax it as possible as you can you see the essence of hemming it removes excess air here there will be no room for foldings or rumples right and as well it gives you a perfect effect on the other side so this is one of the tricks we use to achieve a neatly finished abada right it's very simple it's very easy don't be scared whenever you encounter such works then this is the end result so as you can see we are achieving a perfect closure here so like i said if you have any rumples here you can now either pleat it a bit here just it is a what uh, you need to about pleating to enable you to have the uh, nice relaxation here so it's better you, you do it here than doing it at the shoulder area so our, our, you can still loosen the um, first stitch you made and then sew it more to lap it properly. So now you have done this. Look at how neat this area is. Look at how neatly sewn it is. So this will come outside whenever it's being coiled. So I will take my time now and do the other part and then show you the result on the mannequin. Okay guys, so now I'm done with the sewing of the sides. Look at how it came out, right? So I will not iron the inside very well. Then let's check the result on the dummy. All right, so now let's check the result on our dummy, right? So this is the result. This is the result of what we made. So now the inside once it's been coiled this way, it comes out in this form, in a circular nature, right? So now, you take your time to iron it out properly, so that the threading point will be relaxed. You might use a steam iron to iron out this edge very well. So this is how the water looks on the dummy, right? And then when you bring it this way, it comes out in this form. So this is how it will be on our uh, customer. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will click on the subscribe button on the channel. Thank you for watching and happy Christmas in advance.